Hi my friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see how to make this transmitter and receiver. But first I would like to thank all the people who have already subscribed to my channel and all the people who are going to subscribe just after watching this tutorial. I invite you to stay until the end of this tutorial to see which distance this transmitter can reach. 1. Materials To build this remote controller, we need two Arduino Nano, two NRF24L01 modules, two joysticks, two switches, one power switch, three 50K potentiometers, a perforated board, two 3.3 volt regulators, two 10 microfarad capacitors, two push buttons, a piece of PVC pipe, and a piece of plywood. 2. Electronic Here is the electronic circuit used on the transmitter side, and here is the result obtained after soldering the components on the perforated board. And here is the electronic circuit used on the receiver side, and here is the result obtained after soldering the components on the perforated board. You can make a PCB version like this one, or a more advanced version like this one. 3. Make the cover. To make the cover of this transmitter, slit the PVC pipe, flatten it, cut it according to the size of the electronic board, and remove the part where the battery is inserted. Then glue some plywood to the edges. Then glue pieces of Deprone to make the battery compartment. Add a piece of plywood to isolate the battery and the electronic board, and finally place the electronic board. Four program. Open your Arduino IDE and start by including these four libraries. And if I doesn't recognize these libraries, then go to Tools, then to Manage Library, and enter the name of the library and then download it. Then define the pins of the two to-go switches. Define the pins corresponding to the CE and CSN of the NRF24L01 module. Define the secret code that will be used to initialize the communication tunnel. This code must be the same on the transmitter and the receiver, otherwise it will not work. And this code must be in hexadecimal. Then create a structure that has as a parameter all the channels of the transmitter. Create a variable of the structure we have just created. In the setup, enter this line so that the data can be displayed in the serial monitor. Initialize radio communication with these lines. Define the pin mode for the to-go switch. Define the initial values of each channel, 127 for the joysticks in the middle and 0 for the gas and the three potentiometers. In the loop, read all analog inputs and map them. After this read the digital inputs. Then send the data with this line. And all this is for display data in the serial monitor. This is the end of the program on the transmitter side. For the code on the receiver side, you just have to do the opposite, I mean receive the data and attach them to the pins. Then connect the transmitter to the PC with the appropriate cable and upload the program to the transmitter by pressing the upload button. 5. Test As you can see on this video, I used this transmitter with a drone and I could reach 700 meter. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe to make sure you don't miss the next videos. See you soon.